Hi, my name is Jackson Cobb, and I'm a member of Spirit of Joy Christian Church in the Twin Cities area of Minnesota, and next year I'll be a senior at Eagan High School. In elementary school, I remember learning about Martin Luther King Jr. That was the first time that I heard about racial segregation in a school setting. I remember two questions that came up in my mind. Why did racism exist, and why did we act like that? But in retrospect, those were the wrong questions for me to be asking. Why? Because they were in the past tense, not the present. The questions that I should have been asking are why does racism exist and why do we still act like that? I go to this amazingly nice high school in the suburb of St. Paul, the Blue Ribbon National Awards, all of that stuff. The only problem, 77% of the student body is white. And only 7% of the student body is black. Now that's not just a statistic about race, that is a statistic about racism, which tells people outside of the school that nice schools are white schools. I, as a young white man in the majority, benefit from this systemic racism which is deeply rooted inside of our culture. My salary would like to be higher than that of a black man with my same exact skills. I don't get told by my parents to be careful of police brutality when I drive into downtown Minneapolis at night. If I go into Arizona, I'm not in danger of being pulled over on the side of the road by a police officer simply because of the color of my skin. And if I do get pulled over, I'm likely just to be given a warning. That is racism, and that is wrong. This is why, as a denomination, we need to stand up and proclaim that black lives, integrity, equality, and advancement all matter. And until that day when all of divine creation is treated equally, we have a God-given responsibility to ensure that minorities are not treated like second-class citizens. And yes, white lives matter too, but us white people haven't had to endure centuries of unwarranted discrimination. And all white people have this is which tells us that we matter every single day, so I'm pretty sure that we don't need to be told that message. The very notion that this resolution is discriminatory or an example of supposed reverse racism is fundamentally flawed. All of us, regardless of skin color, are God's children, and we all share responsibility for all of our neighbors. I don't want the children of my black friends to be the next Trayvon Martin, the next Michael Brown, or the next Tamir Rice. It is way past time for us to end racism, and this resolution will get us slightly closer to reaching that goal. I urge you with all of my heart to support Resolution 1518 because black lives truly do matter.